Thank you for watching another episode of Scandal in Your Life. My name is Scandal, and since you let me into a little bit of your life, I'm going to let you into a little bit of mine. But today, I'm talking about birthdays. Today's November 21st, last day to Scorpio. It's my birthday. And, um, you know, my wife has a sense of humor. She's got me a shirt that says old, 50 years old today. And um, I was born in 1972, so she got me a box of candies that were around in 1972. Now, I looked in here, and... Before I even opened it, I said only one thing would make it official. One particular candy would make it an official candy from the 1970s. What I want you to do is see if you recognize some of these candies, see if we're missing any, and I want you to figure out if you could come up with the main candy that I'm talking about that makes this officially a candy from the 1970s, which they couldn't give us today. All right? Razzlers. Remember these? I remember them somewhat. They were all right. wasn't a big fan, but they were okay. 1972, remember. Of course, you remember the Smarties. Women around your neck, they get dirty. But, you know, you're a kid, you're going to eat it regardless. Zots. Not so much. Kind of, sort of, but not so much. I don't really remember them like that. These were kind of disgusting. We would eat them. You know, they got the little uh, liquid in the inside. It's, it's wax. But, you know, when you're a kid in the 70s, that's what you ate. It was, you, you had fun with this. Dots. Of course, everybody remembers these. As I'm going along, if you can, try to put down what you think would be the main candy that I'm talking about that makes it officially a candy from the 80s that they couldn't give out nowadays, that they wouldn't give out nowadays. Turkish taffy, eh, I don't really remember them, but, you know, it is what it is. We all know Pop Rocks. We grew up with these, kind of great. Tootsie Roll is still around and kicking, so we like these. I was okay with these. I wasn't a big fan of the Tootsie Roll. Charleston Chew. They had the chocolate one also, and they had the strawberry one. This is the vanilla. I used to like these. Boston baked beans. I was a bigger fan of the lemon heads, but these were all right. Juji fruits. Of course, you remember these. Remember from Eddie Murphy's stand up? Yeah, and uh, give me some Juji fruits, and this is going to pay for it. Juji fruits. Abba Zabba. I remember these. I wasn't a big fan, but I do remember these. What do you think? Chuckles. Eh. I was okay with Chuckles. Not a, not a huge fan of this type of candy. Peanut chew, still a good thing. Jaw busters. I remember them being jaw breakers, but. You know, maybe this was the original name back in the 70s. Fun dip. We'll go to this. A little white stick on the inside. A little uh, sugar. Lift the stick, dip it in the sugar. It's kind of great. A lot of flavors. Wax lips. Not so much. I'm a guy. It's not really what I, I, I favor. Tea berry. I do not remember this at all. But, you know, it's gum. It says refreshing gum. Who knows? Not a big fan of this flavor, Tootsie Pop. But, you know, it's here. I do remember seeing them. Another Jaw Buster. Gumballs, if you remember them. Pixie Sticks. These are just sugar in a straw. That's all the kids did. did we? They had the bigger ones, and this is, this is all it was. I don't know if they have it nowadays, but anyone that's young that's watching this, Sugar in a straw, quarter of your mouth. That's it. Two other ones. Bit of honey. This was kind of good. I used to like these. Another bit of honey. These and everybody's grandmother's uh, change purse and in her bag and a pocketbook. Strawberry candies. Butterscotch. Everybody's nana, grandmother, old auntie had these. 
They're not the greatest candy, but they gave them to you when you were a kid, you were happy to have them. Jawbreaker, more Jawbreaker, more of the same candies. Now we're coming to the candy that I'm talking about that made me know that this was officially a box from the 70s. But this is not it yet. Let me know what you think before I take it out. I have three more things to take out. One is Bazooka. I remember being Bazooka Joe with a, with a comic on the inside, but Bazooka, the gum. Nowelators. I still love Nowelators. The thing with Nowelators, if you could find a spot, because they had a lot of different flavors, a lot of different flavors. If you happen to find a spot from a different area from your school, and it's a flavor that nobody else had, you were a man for the day, or maybe even a week until someone else found it. One of my favorites was they had an Italian icy flavor. That and the pineapple, those are some of my favorites. But now we when you were broke, you had jingles. Those were the smaller version of the now we The number one candy from the 70s, and I'm gonna even say the early 80s, that you couldn't get now, but, but, but was a big thing back then. Candy cigarettes. Candy cigarettes. These were awesome. Now they had these, and then, so you'd be in class packing open your, 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 your candy cigarettes and, and, and sitting with it and, and acting like you had a cigarette. They also had a gum. The gum, it was wrapped up with paper, and if you blew into the gum, it had a, a puff of, of um, powdered sugar that would come out looking like cigarette smoke. This is something that let me know that this is an official box of the candies from the 1970s, early 80s probably. But off topic, just wanted to come up and uh, show you these things because uh, this is nostalgia right here for a lot of us. And once again, my name is Scandal. I just want to share some of my stuff with you. Have a great day, all right? Peace.